good morning students welcome back to social online class are you fine students i hope you all are fine and safe by the grace of god students now which part we are learning have you remember very good now we are learning economic part is it from economic part which lesson now we are learning excellent now we are learning industrial clusters in tamil nadu is it economics lesson 5 industrial clusters in tamil nadu in the previous class which topic we learned from this lesson have you remember students very good in the previous class we learned about post independence to early 1990s industrialization in tamil nadu liberalization phase is it in the beginning of this class we can recollect few important points about previous class portion okay first of all we learned about post independence to early 1990s is it that means after independence what are the development has uh, taken during industrialization okay uh, after in independence large enterprises were set up in tamil nadu is it several large enterprises were set up by central government and state government in tamil nadu students have you remember which, which is the first important industry in tamil nadu very good integral coach factory in chennai okay integral coach factory in chennai is the Uh, most important factory in tamil nadu uh, from this industry what are the things they are manufacturing very good railway coaches okay railway coaches were manufactured by integral coach factory this particular factory is situated in very good chennai okay this industry is in chennai then next important industry is the bharat heavy electricals limited is it Bharat Heavy Electrical Limited, that means Bell Industry or Company. This company is situated in Thiruchirappalli. Okay, this company is situated in Thiruchirappalli. What are the things are manufacturing uh, from this uh, industries? Very good. Boilers and turbines. That means some different types of engines or machines were produced through this Bell Company. Then. and also the next important industry is the heavy vehicle factory is it uh, from here what are the things they are produced they manufactured tanks okay tank item it is situated in avadi okay where is avadi avadi is in chennai okay far away from the city it is in chennai okay then standard motors ashok motors that means later it get the name ashok leyland uh, these are the industries also uh, situated in chennai uh, from these uh, industries they are produced some of the automobile things automobile items were produced through these ashok motors and standard motors this industry also situated in chennai okay then avadi industrial estate uh, in which year the avadi industrial estate was was established very good 1950 in the year 1950 the avadi industrial estate was established from this estate all the industries get the raw materials many of the industries were get the raw materials from this avadi industrial estate okay then chelam steel plant it it was set up in the year 1973 okay very good 1973 which are the products were produced through this industry from here they are produced stainless steel okay they are produce stainless steel these are the things produced in this particular industries and also uh, after 1972 uh, 1980 Uh, in tamil nadu uh, some of the power loom weaving clusters were sent up for example in coimbatore region is it coimbatore region many power loom weaving clusters are there then in tirupur knitwear clusters are there is it uh, important one but question knitwear clusters in tirupur home furnishing cluster in karur these are the industries also in tamil nadu and also in osur industrial cluster it is one of the successful uh, cluster that also one of the industrial estate okay it developed the industries backward region 
then next we learned about industrialization in tamil nadu that means liberalization pace, uh, pace is it that means um, the industrialization is the post reforms period since early 1990 in the year early 1990 the state government and the central government uh, give responsibility for more resources uh, mobilization and they forced to compete with each other to contact attract the private investment for industrialization so uh, cheap land tax concession and uh, subsidized uh, were uh, given to all the industries okay then there are uh, through these liberalization uh, there are two major developments are there the important industries in the state involved much longer period include some of the major industries are sugar fertilizers cement industry agricultural industry iron and steel industry chemical industry paper industry textile industry rubber industry then leather goods industry transport equipment likewise many industries were set up in tamil nadu comparing uh, all other uh, states in india tamil nadu has large number of industries in tamil nadu 27 clusters are there is it how many clusters are there 27 clusters are there these all clusters are situated in 13 districts okay uh, because of the well development of the network of road, rail, air and major ports, uh, Tamil Nadu get development about uh, the industrialization. Okay, these are the things we learned in the previous class. Is it students? And also I gave some question answers. I hope you learned that question answers also. Students, everyday portion you have to learn. Write in a rough note, correct it and get your parents' signature. Okay. Okay, students. Now let us come forward to today's class. Okay, today I am going to teach major industrial clusters and their specialization in Tamil Nadu. Today I am going to teach major industrial clusters and their specialization in Tamil Nadu. Listen here, from here, uh, some of the important industrial clusters I am going to teach. The first important industrial clusters are automotive clusters. Automotive clusters. Okay. The automotive clusters, mainly the automobile industries are situated in Chennai. Okay, in Tamil Nadu, most of the automobile in, uh, clusters are situated in Chennai. So, Chennai is nicknamed as the Detroit of Asia. Because of large number of automobile industry, Chennai got the name Detroit of Asia. Okay. And also, Chennai is the home of large number of automobile industry. And uh, with, um, example, TVS, TA Cycles, Ashok Leyland, Standard Motors. These are the most important large industries in uh, Chennai. Okay, automobile industries in Chennai. Okay, then prehistorical period, that means uh, uh, before post reforms period itself, these are the industries were set up. Then, uh, and also uh, some, of, uh, some of the MNC firms, uh, that means MNC uh, the industries were set up in uh, Chennai. MNC means multinational corporation. Okay. Multinational corporation firms also set up in Chennai. For example, Hyundai Company, Ford, uh, Daim, uh, Daimler, uh, Daimler Benz, then Benault Nissan. Uh, these are the importer factories in Chennai region. Okay. Then <coughs> many local firms also uh, there in uh, that particular area that particular industries also produce to so many things okay then uh, osur osur is also one of the important auto cluster okay for example tvs asok leyland these factories also situated in osur okay first chennai secondly osur then thirdly coimbatore coimbatore region also developing into auto component cluster Okay, Coimbatore region also developing into auto component cluster. Then, the second important industrial cluster is the truck and bus body building industry clusters. Truck and bus body building industry clusters. Truck, truck means tractor. Okay, truck means tractor. Okay, 
ட்ரக் அண்ட் பஸ் பாடி பில்டிங்ஸ் இண்டஸ்ட்ரி கிளஸ்டர்ஸ் ஆர் த நெக்ஸ்ட் இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் இண்டஸ்ட்ரியல் கிளஸ்டர்ஸ் இன் தமிழ்நாடு லிசன் ஹியர் த நாமக்கல் திருச்செங்கோட் பெல்ட் that means the namakkal uh, it is situated in the western tamil nadu uh, that area is known as uh, truck body building industry many truck body building industries are there uh, um, then next karur is the another, another major industry uh, area uh, situated this uh, body building industry for example more than 50 units more than 50 body building industry clusters are there situated in karur okay then many entrepreneurs that means many uh, company owners were previous they are giving a uh, ch- uh, chance to uh, employees that means they are giving chance to work some person in that particular industries okay then uh, the next one is the textile clusters the next important industry cluster is the textile cluster students uh, this is this textile cluster is one of the most important uh, five mark question okay F- uh, public exam question so you have to listen very careful okay the next one is the textile clusters tamil nadu is the home of largest textile sectors in the country that means in india uh, the tamil nadu is one of the important state it has more textile industries okay more textile industries so tamil nadu is the home of largest textile sector in the country okay because development of cotton textile many cotton textile industries are situated in tamil nadu colonial period itself many cotton textile industries were set up in tamil nadu then coimbatore in coimbatore region many textile industries are there so coimbatore is often referred as the monster of south india coimbatore is often referred the monster of south india and also at present in coimbatore many spinning mills are there at present in coimbatore many spinning mills are there so <clears throat> tamil nadu is the biggest producer of cotton yarn in the country comparing all other state tamil nadu is the biggest producer of cotton yarn in the country okay then <clears throat> power loom industry okay power loom uh, this wide spread with erode and chelam region in erode and chelam region many power loom units are located many power looms units are set up in uh, erode and chelam region then <coughs> tirupur tirupur is one of the famous for clustering of a large number of farms producing cotton knitwear important one word question okay tirupur famous for cotton knitwear producing cotton knitwear cotton knitwear were mostly produced in tirupur okay cotton knitwear were mostly produced in tirupur okay students then see the picture this is the textile industry this is the textile industry okay uh, from here all the textile items where they are producing okay again uh, uh, india tamil nadu uh, has 80 percentage of cotton knitwear exports tamil nadu uh, in india tamil nadu alone exported 80 percentage of knitwear okay knitwear wear exported from uh, tamil nadu to other states or other countries and also 3 lakhs people more than 3 lakhs people were get a job through this uh, textile industry okay through this textile industry 3 lakhs of people more than 3 lakhs of people were get employment okay and also um, not only uh, they are uh, selling their products in the domestic market in the global market itself they are selling their products okay then at present some of the leading government exporters in india have set up in the factories here that means in tamil nadu some of the government exporters garment means piece of clothes okay garment means piece of clothes items for example piece of shirt uh, shirt piece pant piece etc okay garments so garment section items also exported from tamil nadu in all over the world okay then 
countries in the southern hemisphere are called global south countries one of the important one word question countries in the southern hemisphere okay southern hemisphere are called global south countries southern hemisphere are called global south countries okay <coughs> apart from all these bodybuilding industries karur is a major center of export of home furnishing items home furnishing items from karu some of the home furnishing items were produced for example table cloth curtains bed covers towels these all things were produced from karu industries okay uh, then important areas are bhavani and rama kumara palayam bhavani and kumara palayam are the important centers of producing corporate items okay then apart from all such modern clusters and also some of the traditional artisan clusters also there for example in madurai and kanjipuram okay madurai and kanjipuram has famous silk and cotton handloom sarees madurai and kanjipuram has famous for madurai and kanjipuram famous for silk and cotton handloom sarees okay they are produced more silk and cotton handloom saree items okay then <coughs> the next important industry is the leather and leather goods industries that means leather and leather goods clusters um, in tamil nadu accounts 60 percentage of leather tanning capacity in india 60 percentage of leather tanning capacity are there in tamil nadu uh, 38 percentage of leather footwear and garments items were produced from tamil nadu in tamil nadu produced 38 percentage of leather footwear and garments items in india then hundreds of leather tannery facilities are there in tamil nadu uh, from here belur one of the important district uh, from belur some of the important areas for example ranipet ambur vaniyampadi these are the important places in belur district uh, for Uh, famous for the uh, leather tannery facilities then so belur district is the uh, good exporter of finished leather goods items in the country belur district is the exporter of finished leather goods in the country and also next chennai chennai also has a large number of leather products okay then <coughs> another clustering leather uh, areas are dindukal and erode first velur then chennai next dindukal and erode from there also there are many leather industries are there they are producing many leather products okay then <clears throat> these through these leather uh, industries so many people were get employment through these leather industries so many people were get employment okay <clears throat> then the next important industry is the fireworks matches and printing clusters the next important industry is the fireworks matches and printing clusters uh, students you everyone know is it examples of fireworks areas sivagasi region is it sivagasi sivagasi is one of the famous uh, match industry now it become major center of printing and fireworks Uh, in uh, ancient period itself uh, the fireworks industries were uh, set up in sivagasi later this industry uh, get a development about fireworks and printing okay um, from here 90% of firework production where they are doing in india 90% of fireworks production where doing through sivagasi region okay then 80% of safety matches were produced through sivagasi region and 60% of printing solutions were produced from this sivagasi regions okay then all these industries have their origin in the colonial period that means already i told is it uh, in the colonial period itself ancient period itself uh, the these all in the, that means these sivagasi regions were set up to sivagasi region these uh, uh, fireworks matches and printing uh, clusters were set up many people were get a job through these fireworks matches and printing clusters 
then the last important industry is the electronics and information technology clusters electronics and information technology clusters listen students after the economic reform started in early 1990s this is one of the important one right question economic reforms when it was started in the year 1990 okay economic reforms was started in the year 1990 okay from uh, after 1990 many hardware and electronics industries were set up in tamil nadu uh, for example uh, some of the hardware and electronic manufacturers like nokia foxconn motorola sony ericsson samsung dell these are the many uh, more most important hardware and electronics manufacturing industries okay from here uh, some of the handset devices circuit boards and some consumer electronics items were produced Uh, the mostly all these industries were set up in the chennai region okay these all industries were mostly set up in the chennai region okay then information technology specific special economic zones uh, for the purpose of uh, transporting all these things uh, the uh, some of the special economic zones were set up for example uh, in order to make development more inclusive inclusive means to include tier 2 cities uh, tier 2 cities what are the tier 2 cities coimbatore madurai tirchi tirunelveli osur and chelam these industries are tier 2 cities uh, these cities have uh, promoted it investment many it investment were promoted through these all uh, regions and also the uh, elcot 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 has established the elcoses elcot elcot that means electronic corporation of tamil nadu ELCOT the abbreviation of ELCOT is Electronic Corporation of Tamil Nadu this Electronic Corporation of Tamil Nadu established the uh, ELCOSS ELCOSS set that means uh, it is the specific special economic zones it is the special economic zones there are eight economic zones are there there are eight economic zones are there uh, the first one is Chennai chennai cholinganallur in chennai cholinganallur is one of the important economic zone uh, then uh, second one is the uh, vilangkurchi vilangkurchi it is in coimbatore next ilandai kulam it is in madurai next vadapalangi kinnimangalam it is in uh, it is also in madurai navalpattu it is in trichy and also some other areas for example tirunelveli tirunelveli the kangai kondan area uh, from chelam uh, jagirama palayam okay jagirama palayam then osur vishwanathapuram these are the areas are the important economic zones the important specific special economic zones for information technology okay can you understand students shall we recall the points students the continuation of this lesson i will teach the next class okay now we can recall uh, today's portion uh, today we learned about the major industrial clusters in tamil nadu is it what are the major industrial clusters we learned now have you remember students very good automotive clusters truck and bus body buildings textile in the, uh, clusters leather and leather good uh, clusters network uh, sorry fireworks matches and printing clusters electronics and information technology clusters these are the important industrial clusters we learned now uh, now we can recall few important points about these all clusters okay first of all we learned about automotive clusters is it uh, before that i am going uh, going to ask one uh, one word question um, chennai is nicknamed as the detroit of asia is it answer is the detroit of asia why chennai get the name detroit of asia because large number of automobile industries are situated in chennai okay large number of automobile industries are set up in 
சென்னை ஸோ சென்னை கெத் த நிக் நேம் டெட்ராய்ட் ஆஃப் ஏஷியா ஓகே தென் சம் ஆஃப் த இம்பார்ட்டன் ஆட்டோமொபைல் இண்டஸ்ட்ரீஸ் வேர் ஃபார்ம்ட் இன் சென்னை ஹவ் யூ ரிமெம்பர் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் வாட் ஆர் த இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் ஆட்டோமொபைல் இண்டஸ்ட்ரீஸ் வெரி குட் டிவிஎஸ் டிஐ சைக்கிள்ஸ் அசோக் லேலேண்ட் ஸ்டாண்டர்ட் மோட்டர்ஸ் தென் சம் ஆஃப் த மல் எம்என்சி கம்பெனிஸ் லைக் ஹுண்டாய் ஃபோர்ட் டைம்லர் பென்ஸ் தென் ரினால்ட் நிசான் தீஸ் ஆர் த மேஜர் இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் இண்டஸ்ட்ரீஸ் ஆட்டோமொபைல் இண்டஸ்ட்ரீஸ் இன் சென்னை ரீஜியன் இஸ் இட் தென் நம்பர் ஆஃப் ஃபாரின் கம் கண்ட்ரி கம்பெனிஸ் ஆல்சோ இன் சென்னை மெனி ஆட்டோமொபைல் ஐட்டம்ஸ் வேர் ப்ரொடியூஸ்டு த்ரூ தீஸ் ஆல் இண்டஸ்ட்ரீஸ் தென் த நெக்ஸ்ட் இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் பிளேஸ் இஸ் இன் ஓசூர் ஓசூர் ஆல்சோ த இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் ஆட்டோமொபைல் கிளஸ்டர் ஃப்ரம் ஹியர் டிவிஎஸ் அண்ட் சசோ கிளேலேண்ட் ஃபேக்ட்ரிஸ் வேர் சிட்டுவேட்டட் தென் நெக்ஸ்ட் கோயம்புத்தூர் இஸ் இட் கோயம்புத்தூர் ரீஜன் ஆல்சோ ஹாவ் மோர் ஆட்டோ காம்பனன்ட் கிளஸ்டர் த நெக்ஸ்ட் வீ லேண்ட் அபவுட் த ட்ரக் அண்ட் பஸ் பால்டி பில்டிங் இஸ் இட் ட்ரக் மீன்ஸ் டிராக்டர் இஸ் இட் நாமக்கல் இந்த ஏரியாஸ் ஆஃப் நாமக்கல் தென் கரூர் கரூர் ஹேஸ் ஃபிஃப்டி யூனிட்ஸ் இஸ் 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 இட் ஃபிஃப்டி ட்ராக் அண்ட் பஸ் பாடி பில்டிங் இண்டஸ்ட்ரீஸ் ஆர் தேர் இன் கரூர் மெனி பீப்புள் கெட் எம்ப்ளாய்மெண்ட் த்ரூ திஸ் இண்டஸ்ட்ரீஸ் தென் நெக்ஸ்ட் ஃபீல் அண்ட் அபவுட் டெக்ஸ்டைல் கிளஸ்டர்ஸ் இஸ் இட் ஆல்ரெடி ஐ டோல்ட் திஸ் இஸ் ஒன் ஆஃப் த ஃபைவ் மார்க் இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் கொஸ்டின் இஸ் இட் ஸ்டூடெண்ட் டெக்ஸ்டைல் கிளஸ்டர்ஸ் தமிழ்நாடு இஸ் த ஹோம் ஆஃப் லார்ஜஸ்ட் டெக்ஸ்டைல் செஸ்டர் செக்டர் இஸ் இட் பிகாஸ் காட்டன் டெக்ஸ்டைல் மெனி காட்டன் டெக்ஸ்டைல் இண்டஸ்ட்ரீஸ் வேர் ஹாவ் இன் தமிழ்நாடு ஸோ டூரிங் கலோனியல் பீரியட் இட் செல்ஃப் மெனி டெக்ஸ்டைல் கிளஸ்டர்ஸ் வேர் செட் அப் இன் தமிழ்நாடு இஸ் இட் தென் பிச் இஸ் கால்டு மான்செஸ்டர் ஆஃப் சவுத் இந்தியா வெரி குட் கோயம்புத்தூர் ஓகே கோயம்புத்தூர் இஸ் ஆஃப் அண்ட் ரெஃபர்ட் அஸ் மான்செஸ்டர் ஆஃப் சவுத் இந்தியா இஸ் இட் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் தென் um where is famous for knit wear students very good tirupur okay tirupur tirupur is famous for producing cotton knit wear okay then how many percentage of knit wear were exported from tirupur very good 80 percentage okay 80 percentage of cotton knit wear were exports from tirupur then how much people get a job through this textile industry more than 3 lakhs people okay more than 3 lakhs people were get a job through these textile industries okay then um, next apart from uh, this body building karur karur is the major center of export of home furnishing is it uh, from uh, karur uh, some of the uh, 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 house Uh, needed things were produced is it for example table cloth curtains bed covers towels uh, then some of the carpet items these all things were produced from uh, karur industries okay then some of the traditional artisan clusters also there in madurai and kanjipuram for example madurai and, and, and kanjipuram are famous for silk and cotton handloom sarees is it next we learned about leather and leather goods clusters 60 percentage of leather tanning capacity have in tamil nadu in tamil nadu 38 percentage of leather footwear wear and garments items were produced is it hundreds of leather tanneries are there in tamil nadu mainly velur is very very important district to uh, produce some of the leather items many uh, leather uh, industries were situated in velur district next chennai and dindigal and erod also has how so many leather industries okay the next we learned about the fireworks matches and printing clusters which area is very famous for fireworks students we everyone know is it very good sivagasi region is it sivagasi region is the is famous for fireworks late uh, uh, first in colonial period uh, the match industry were set up in sivagasi later it become major fireworks and printing clusters okay many people were get employment through this firework industry then finally we learned about electronics and information technology clusters finally we learned about electronics and information technology clusters electronics and information technology mostly uh, in the chennai region many electronics and information technology clusters are there uh, for example uh, some of the uh, industries like nokia foxconn motorola sony 
Ericsson, Samsung, Dell. These are the important industry to produce some of the electronics and information items. Okay, uh, from through these uh, uh, industries, they are produced some of the handset devices, circuit boards, consumers electronics items were produced through these electronics and information technology clusters. In Chennai region, more electronics and information technology are situated. Okay, can you understand students? Uh, then uh, this uh, information technology has some of the specific uh, special economic zones. Okay, mostly eight special economic zones are there in Tamil Nadu, for example in Chennai, Cholingan Allur, in Koyam Batur, Vilang Kurichi, Madurai, Ilande Kulam, Vada Palanyi, Kinni Mangalam, in Tirichi Naval Patu, then in Eternal Valley, Kange Kondan, in Chelam, Jagirama Palayam, in Osur. Uh, Vishwanadapuram. These are the important uh, specific special economic zones for information technology. Okay. Can you understand students? I hope you understood the continuation of this lesson. We will I will teach the next class. Okay. Now all are take a book. Students, now all are take a book. Turn the exercise pages. Turn the exercise pages. Page number 337. Page number 337. Write brief answers. Okay. Write brief answers. Short answers. Uh, first three short answers already I mark and give. The fourth short answer to the next class I will mark and give students. Today you have to mark a brief answers. Question number two. Roman number six. Write brief answers. Question number two. Write about the textile industry cluster in Tamil Nadu. Write about the Textile industry cluster in Tamil Nadu. Answer is page number 332 to 333. Answer is page number 332 to 333. Textile clusters heading. Textile clusters heading. Fully. That first paragraphs. Then second paragraph. Power loom is that paragraph. Tirupur is famous for that paragraph. Then this side. Uh, it accounts for nearly 80 percentage that paragraph fully that uh, blue color box no need to mark the next apart from bodybuilding karur is major that paragraph then next paragraph apart from such modern clusters that up to handloom series up to handloom series you have to mark this is one of the important five mark public exam question okay students you have to mark it uh, this question today itself you have to learn Write in your rough note and correct it. Get your parent signature also. Okay. The continuation of this lesson I will teach next class. Uh, we will meet the next class students. Thank you.